Morning everyone. So before I take my little boy to school, uh, I thought I would do a very quick video on something that a lot of people seem to get confused with the love bombing stage of narcissistic abuse. And uh, there is actually a stage kind of before that, okay? And I've only recently started to put a bit of effort into differentiating between love bombing and actually what comes before love bombing. Um, and what comes before the love bombing stage, right? And for anyone who's new to learning about narcissistic personality disorder and narcissistic abuse, love bombing is when they, they tell you everything you want to hear. And uh, there's that, as if it's a sexual relationship, it's very intensely touchy-feely and passionate and lusty. And uh, there's lots of sexting and pictures. Um, they mirror you, you know, there's a pity party per them so that you go, oh, I'll look after you. And then also they'll have also flipped to being white knight and oh i'll look after you so love bombing is just like this perfect start everything's going great and the narcissist uh who's going to become your abuser and your cheat uh, says everything you want to hear and does everything you want to you want them to do but before that stage comes the idolization phase okay so it's kind of like love bombing part 1a okay with love bombing being part 1b so before the love bombing stage the idolization stage is when the narcissist sees you okay you've not seen them yet okay whether they first see you on social media whether they first see you in the gym or swimming pool which is what happened to me um in my first book dangerous normal people where i expose all the different stages of narcissistic abuse and all the different terms of behaviors uh dangerous normal people and uh, that's the book um the uh the the narcissist has spotted you they're reading you from afar they're watching you from afar and they're ascertaining if you're going to be their next target stroke supply and what differentiates a target and a supply is whether or not you've got boundaries okay so narcissists will target anything and anyone that they think they can get supply from the difference is that an awful lot of us irrelevant of how charismatic and confident we seem to be we fall into becoming a supply because our boundaries are, are not up long enough or we don't have the right types of boundaries or we just get we've got low self-esteem and attachment issues and we get we become a supply uh, beyond being just a target so the idealization phase is when the narcissist targets you and in their head right the reason why they're targeting you is you're perfect Okay, so that's, they idealize you, okay? They idolize you. They, they put you on a pedestal, you are perfect. The way you look, the way you move, the way you act, the way you sound, what you have to offer is perfect. And, you know, obviously taking out sort of sexual stuff, this could be obviously a parent, this could be a toxic, soon to be toxic friend, abusive friend, a colleague, you know, a future bully. Narcissists will idolize every single target because that's why and how they choose you. That's why they start to obsess. That's the next wee bit is they obsess over you. They start to calculate and work out how they're going to get to talk to you and love bomb you and groom you. OK, so the idolization phase is very much where you are indeed the next amazing thing to the narcissist. This is this is almost this is almost their version of love okay so when people say to me and i did a podcast on this my podcast is also the narcissist hunter on uh, spotify and anchor fm on did my narcissist ever love me yeah they did in their own warped and toxic way of loving you which was the idolization phase before the love bombing okay it's the phase where like i say they believe you're perfect they see you as perfect they're perfect you're perfect in that moment of time for the narcissist needs and wants and desires so whether it's money, status, uh, your looks, uh, your, uh, your capacity to charm others, put up with others, your capacity to put up with abuse, um, you don't know this is happening. You know, if you think about a wildlife video, right, a wildlife uh, program, documentary, and you see a lion, the lion's lying there in the, uh, in the savannah, okay? Yeah, I know. Uh, behind a bush in the savannah, and it's lying there, and it's going... Okay, it's licking its lips, it's imagining its next meal, and it's calculating how it is going to circle, capture, and then uh, obviously manipulate, pin down, and kill the 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 poor little whatever it's called is it called uh, your deer, okay, uh, whatever animal it is. That's your narcissist idolizing idolizing you in the idolization phase, love bombing part one a. Eh? They are calculating, but they adore you and they obsess about you. And the reason they do that, because like I say, you're perfect. Yeah, you're perfect in that moment in time. There'll be a different target or there will have been a different target that 
in a different point of time was perfect for them because narcissists hunt different types of supply. And again, in my book, Dangerous Normal People, Understanding Casanova Psychopaths and the Narcissistic Virus, the narciss I describe different types of supply because narcissists will idolize a flying monkey. They will idolize a family member. They will idolize a colleague. They will idolize a, a future supply because all of those different people offer up different perfect ideal circumstances and uh, fuel supply to them and it's all about that so that is the narcissist version of love okay and it's sad because it doesn't last very long because once they start love bombing you you know you're going to start kind of resisting and reacting and changing you're not quite what they thought you're not perfect and that's when the devaluation phase kicks in so i just wanted to uh, talk a little bit about idealization because i think there's a lot of people talk about love bombing and they don't realize that long before the love bombing starts, you've been watched, you've been observed, um, you've been read, you've been measured, uh, and you've been seen as the next target. You don't know you're a target until you're a target, but there's been a, there's a phase before that. So that's the idealization phase. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about narcissists, please continue to subscribe to this channel. Please watch my other 125 videos. Um, have a look at my books. I've written three. The fourth one is out this year and I'm just finishing my fifth one. And, and I write about narcissists in all the different forms and contexts. Uh, some of them are, are, are memoir based, like Dangerous Normal People, but with study guides, study sections in it. And some of them are novels where you hear and listen to a narcissist and the victims think and stuff. So I try to cover all bases in terms of educating you on narcissists and narcissistic abuse. So thank you for watching. Uh, comments are welcome and have a nice day.